If your publication doesn't have an identifier, you can add it manually to Serval. In order to do so, click on Enter and then on No. These badges indicate the fields that should be completed in order for your entry to be well indexed by Google Scholar and Google. You can enter a new publication in three steps on the same screen. You enter the bibliographic information or metadata, you link the publication to the authors and units at UNIL, and then you add the full text. If we start with the first step, you can enter the title of your publication and then the names and surnames of the authors. So in order to add another one, click on Add Another Person. You'll see that while you're adding authors, a list of possible UNIL collaborators is being suggested in the links part, so this will facilitate linking the um, entry to the authors from UNIL Shuv. You can also enter the name of the journal, the date, and the language. You now link the entry to the authors. So you have the automatically suggested list. If you find your authors in this list, you just click um, their names and the entry will be linked to them. Whenever you click a name of someone for whom we know the unit, then this unit will be automatically added to the unit field. If not, if the unit has not been added, you can just type the name and add a new unit and the same goes for the teams. If you can't find the person you were looking for and you want to add their link manually, then click on manual search. Here you can enter their name, surname, search, and then click on the plus sign next to the name of the person you want to add. Don't forget to also check the box next to the name. We've now reached the full text part of the data entry. At the beginning you will find two links that will give you information concerning your rights and obligations with respect to depositing and sharing your full text. Don't hesitate to follow the second one, the personalized advice, that will take you to Papago, which will give you specific information for your case. Once you know which version of the manuscript you can deposit and share, click on the disclaimer and click on add PDF. Here you can specify all the information about your text. So the version, the visibility, either public, under embargo or UNIL restricted. If you choose under embargo, then you can set the end date of set embargo. You can also determine the license if you know it and then click it. Please go over all the metadata that were retrieved and make sure that everything is correct. You have now three choices. You can either save the information and then continue working afterwards. Then the entry will be at the draft state. Or you can click on publish and then the entry will become public. Or if you find some mistakes or you'd like to correct anything, you can click on edit. You will then enter in the advanced entry mode. Please bear in mind that when you publish an entry that has a PDF in it, you won't in principle be able to modify it or eliminate it in the future, whereas the metadata can always be modified and edited. You can at any point click on the back arrow to close the entry without saving the changes.